Hey, you guys, this is D Edwards. I am your favorite tax genie. Uh, with Tax Genie Professional Software. If you're needing software for the upcoming tax season, the new tax season, a prior tax season, be sure to reach out to me. In this video, I want to show you guys how to add the recovery rebate credit. This is very important because this, again, is something that you'll have to do manually for now. And so if you'll look, pay attention to what the federal amount says right now. It's a $4,671. If you go to, um, to your left-hand side, you'll press deductions. Then you'll go to the credit menu. Then you'll select recovery rebate credit, okay? And then it said, did you or anyone claimed on this return receive a stimulus payment during the third rounds of stimulus? So let's say if this client did not receive anything. So we'll put no, I did not receive a stimulus payment during the third round of payments. If you press continue, as you can see, her... Uh, federal refund amount went up to $7,471 and this is for one dependent only that is the age of 16. So this particular client, she actually received uh, $1,500 of the third round stimulus. Okay, And on here you see that her refund still increased to $5,971 because she was due more. Now also on this one, it's important for you guys to see something here. Okay, so I went to the website. I went to the iris.gov website to look at the third stimulus amount. So right here on the screen for 2021, it shows that she received $5,600. She actually did not receive that amount. So listen, you guys, this is important. Even on this screen, it said, do not use this information when filing your 2020 tax return because this amount is not correct, all right? So I wanted to make sure that you guys understood not to use that amount when inputting it under the recovery rebate credit. This is D. Edwards with Tax Genie Professional Software. We're backed by TaxLayer. We look forward to working with you and you having a great tax season.